Hey, welcome back to my channel. This is Akilah James coming to you with another video. I want to talk to you today about topspin. You already know there's many strokes in tennis. Topspin is something that is needed, necessary, and you gotta have it. Why is topspin so important and what are the benefits of learning topspin? Number one, it keeps the ball in the court. Number two, it controls your opponent's court positioning so they can attack the ball. Number three, it's not in the strike zone of your opponent. And number four, you get tons of rotation on the ball and RPM. You know the difference between flat and topspin? Talk to me. Well, let me tell you. When you hit the ball flat, you go dead on the ball and the ball does not incur any spin. You have no spin. When you do topspin, you are sure that the ball will stay in. I wanna tell you this, whether you're hitting on the wall or hitting with a live person doing shadow swings, you want to practice topspin. So, this is shadow swings. Eyes on the ball, make sure you're looking. Another thing, how do you know you're hitting topspin? Your strings are facing down to the ground as well as out of your opponent's strike zone. Now I'm just gonna give you three major tips on how to hit topspin while you're playing. Number one, no matter what, the swing pattern is very important. Whether you have Eastern grip, you have a semi-Western grip, or you have a extreme Western grip, or you have whatever you have. One thing you must know is that you're swinging from low to high. Your knees are bent and you're basically going from 12 o'clock to I'd say six o'clock. You're starting up high, you're going low, and you're going through. You're starting high, you're going low, you're going through. This includes your knees bent, your legs bent, and you are standing in a great posture and you are not leaning forward, but you're in a balanced state. If I decide to push you, you're able to stand. As I would like to say, every time you hit the ball, the ball should be dancing. Tons, tons, tons of rotation on the ball. Number two, another thing you wanna make sure is that the racket is moving from high to low. Making sure that the racket is brushing up on the ball. As you can see, the sun is changing, so it's getting brighter, it's getting less bright. You wanna make sure that the racket is brushing up on the ball and you're not hitting behind the ball. So you wanna be hitting at six o'clock, going from six to 12, that motion right here, six to 12. So you're going this way this way. You also want to make sure that the strings are brushing up on the ball. Also, you want to make sure that the strings are going down. So you see some tennis players, they go start up high, they go down. Sometimes the strings are like this, right? Facing down. Hand is here, not up here, but the strings are down. So for my grip, you can see I come down here. I'm down here a little bit, but some players you would start to see, they start here, they start high, prepare high, you're here, you have a good base and the strings are facing down. That way when you go here and you open up, the strings open up, but you're coming from here to here. And that's very important when you want to make sure that the ball is traveling with the utmost rotation. While this is going on, you want to make sure you're clearing the net about four inches at least. Maintaining the racket head speed upwards is very important. And you're not trying to moon ball, you're trying to hit top spin. So this is definitely how you do it. This is how you get it going. Your ball should be moving, moving. Now I'm gonna show you a drill that will really get that topspin going. You're basically gonna be a little close to the net and you're gonna drop the ball and just get that maximum high topspin right over the net from low to high and put everything that I said together. And I'm also gonna show you some tennis players that do do that, which you'll see Nadal is the king of that. Whether he's on clay or on hard, the ball is getting so much rotation. He is making sure that ball is outside of someone's comfort zone. And another person that kind of does that on the women's side is Azarenka. 
especially when she was young. Back she used to she's hit rotating. Balls. Takes then her she left foot and moves backward. On tour, definitely started moving that ball in that high topspin, getting it outside of someone's comfort zone. Another person that does that is Coco Goff. Another person that does that is Iga. So you have a couple All of right. players, so especially on the women's analyzing. side, that you can see the ball is dancing. On the men, I don't want to give you Nadal because he definitely does it so, so well. This is a drill I used to do when I was a child to get the topspin and get the racket motion going. You don't need a person, you don't need anything. Get a net, get a ball, get a tennis racket, and I'm gonna show you right here. So again, thanks so much for watching my video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And for more tips on tennis, I'm coming at you, baby. So be ready. Bye.